Today's video is brought to you by CarLock, the world's best vehicle tracker and alert system. With CarLock, you'll be able to track your car real time, get alerts of anything suspicious happening to your car, such as your car is starting when it shouldn't be starting, any vibrations. Also, if someone decides to unplug your car lock from your car, you'll get a notification for that too. You deserve that peace of mind and make sure you get your car lock. I do have a discount code for you guys shown on the screen right now. Get 10% off your purchase as well as 14 day free trial with the as well with that same discount code, man. Get you car lock. You deserve that peace of mind. Let's go ahead and get it to the video. This 2022, that's four years this car has been out and those are the only ones I've seen in person. You might be able to flip it the same year and still make a probably a twenty, thirty thousand dollar profit off that car. what is going on welcome back to the channel if you are new thank you for tuning in to my channel and in, in this video here uh, make sure you, you subscribe we want you around for the long haul we do a lot of car related things on this channel and we want you around for all that so make sure you hit that subscribe button and go ahead and lock it in um, but if you've already done that I want to thank you for just locking in and being part of the family man really appreciate that we're not going to hold you too long let's go ahead and get a topic of today's video you see the title and you see the thumbnail so let's talk about this so the craziest thing right now in in today's car market and things of that nature cars uh, certain cars well i won't say certain car but a lot more of these dodge charger and challengers are slowly going from being liabilities to now being more so of an investment if you will right that's crazy we're talking about a depreciating asset that you know that is normally a vehicle that you buy has now turned around and became an investment it is something you can actually make money off of and watch your car go up in value like for example um and i just use myself for example here uh, my car brand new 2022 dodge charger scat pack wild body i bought it i think sticker price uh was like 53 i've checked the value on this car a few times and the value on my car has actually went up some so that that's wild right we're in a time where cars are staying the same in value or going up which is you know not all cars but certain cars especially the charger and challenger are doing that right now especially the v8 models with them going away the price and the value of those is really either holding steady or slowly increasing we're seeing the car market um, for cars you know stuff going on sale uh they're going on sale higher than the ms rp and people are out there buying them because it's hard to get your hands on these cars like car lots i mean they're, they're recovering um as far as with their inventory but as far as building a new car and things like that you know that supply chain is uh pretty sketchy and things like that so people are charging a premium for these cars for sure but i do want to talk about this one particular car that i think everyone knows all the dodge cars and stuff like that but there's one particular trim a v8 trim that is extremely rare it is very rare so rare that it is rarer than the demon that came out in 2018 and there's less of those cars on the road i mean not talking about demon talk the car i'm about to talk about uh i know dodge is coming out with the last call models model is so rare and the more i look at it, i feel like this car might be one of the best investments that you can probably do in a car if you're looking to go that route outside of the demon so the car that is extremely rare that you probably have not seen that much of is the SRT Superstock. The Superstock is the rarest car Dodge has out right now. But let me put in perspective how rare this car is. Uh, this car came out in 2020, and in 2020, Dodge made 190 Superstocks. And in 2021, last year, they made 559 Superstocks. Now, we don't have 2022's production number because of fact we're still in the 2022 model year but right there you got 590 we can round up maybe 560 and we got 190 which can round up with 200 so you're looking at what about seven eight hundred total cars that has been built for the last couple of years right so let's compare that to the demon we know 2018 does build 3300 demons that went what that was 300 for canada 3000 for the united states now i know the numbers are just numbers to a lot of people 
But let's put in perspective of how rare both of these cars are. So since 2018, from my perspective, and I go to a lot of car events and things of that nature. I can count on one hand how many demons I've seen in person. I'm not talking about on the internet. I'm not talking about famous people that own demons. I'm talking about demons I've actually walked up to and seen in person. I, and I can name all the colors. So I seen a red one was the first one I seen in Gastonia at a car, small Cars and Coffee there. I seen a black one at Cars and Coffee Charlotte. I seen a white one at Cars and Coffee Charlotte. And I think I seen a Granite Crystal one somewhere else uh, in Charlotte. I can't remember where. But those are the demons I've seen. I think I've seen another one when I was out of town. I was in Atlanta. I seen one down there when I went to Caffeine and Octane. So, like, like, that's four or five demons that I've seen in person since 2018. This 2022, that's four years this car has been out. And those are the only ones I've seen in person. Now, for the Superstock, look, compare it to that. Now, the Superstock came out in 2020, like I said before. And since 2020, I have seen... Watch no out vehicle on shoulder ahead. Yeah, definitely let me know. That's kind of loud. Uh, since 2020... This is how many super stocks I've seen. No lie. I've seen two. I've seen two super stocks since 2020. The first one was a smoke show one that I've seen uh, at, uh, what's the name of that event? At Streetcar Takeover. I've seen that one in person. And the other one I've seen was the Gold Rush one that I, it was on one of my shorts and one of my, um, yeah, one of my short videos that's been on the channel. Um, it's a Gold Rush Superstock that I've seen at Car from Car from Charlotte. Those are the two Superstocks that I have seen in person. Like, again, I'm not talking about a car that you can look up and say this person owned. I'm talking about in person seeing and things like that. So, yeah, I mean, two years since the car been out and I've only seen two of them. And both of the ones I've seen, both of the Superstocks that I have seen have been this year. No lie. I mean, so that really goes to show you that both of these cars are really rare. Granted, we can say that, you know, a lot of people that have the cars aren't driving them around every day. And I give you that. That is very, very true. You're not going to take a super stock and drive around all the time. You're not going to take a Dodge team and drive around all the time either. But I'm talking about going to actual events, a car event, and seeing the car there. Even still then, going to car events where it, it could be mostly Mopar, or uh, whatnot, mostly Dodge vehicles, or, or what have you, a, a wide variety of vehicles or something like that, like cars and coffee, uh, caffeine and octane, things like that. Uh, I still have yet to see a lot of those particular cars. Like those cars are really extremely rare. And to put it into even further perspective how rare these cars is, I did a search, um, I only use cars.com, I think car gurus as well. I want to see exactly how many of these cars were out there for sale. For the Dodge Neiman, the, Do the, the, the highly sought after Dodge Neiman, I went on cars.com, I think there were 41 or 42 listings for the Dodge Neiman on sale. Now, I, I took the same search and I went to look at, I searched nationwide, I searched, I searched everywhere for it. Um, and then I took the same search for a super stock. The super stock, I only found two super stocks, well actually three, I found three super stocks for sale. Uh, I actually checked it twice today. I checked it earlier today, there was two, and then there's a brand new one for sale. So two of the super stocks, uh, actually yeah, two of the three are brand new ones. Actually, I, I completely lied. One is a brand new one, and the other two are used. One is a 2022 that's used, and one is a 2020 that's used, right? These cars aren't out there for sale like that. If you say you see these cars a lot, you might be seeing the same car over and over again, but, Generally speaking, like you're not going to see these cars either on for sale. Watch out, vehicle on shoulder ahead. That, that's, that's loud. You, you're not going to see a lot of them either for sale or just out driving around. So, with how rare those cars are, like what is the pricing looking like for these cars? So, let's go ahead and get into that right now. For this year, the the super stock MSRP is like 88k. We can pretty much anticipate for 2023 the super stock is going to be easily over 90k MSRP. The MSRP goes up every year, right? But the used cars, I looked up every demon on cars.com. I know there's a lot of sites you can look them up on. The cheapest one I found was a hundred and I think 14,000. Um, what's the cheapest one I saw for the, for the demon? Now that is a 2018, of course, uh, four year old car. The Superstock, which just came out in 2020, the cheapest one I found was 119. Now, I think if I'm not mistaken, I think both the Superstock and the Demon were close to MSRP when they came out. I want to say Demon might be slightly, slightly cheaper because of the fact that it came out in 18, and you know, you know, inflation, and, you know, it, it, it goes up every year, right? Now, granted, we know the Superstock is the newer car, pretty much, and the Demon is the older car, and you know, that may not mean too much, but the fact that you really can't find a super stock for sale like that and you can find 40 something demons out there for sale if you want to buy one it should say a lot i know demons can get up 
up there in price. We know we seen demons going for like 150, 160 thousand. They're out there. There, there are a lot of ones that are they're going for pretty high. But as far as just the lowest one or each one, the super stock is a little bit higher. So looking at the price on the cars, it led me to think like if you could afford a super stock right now and you wanted to buy one as an investment, would buying a super stock versus going out buying a demon, would that super stock pay off in the long run? First off, the car is extremely rare. You can't find the car hardly anywhere. The production numbers are extremely low. We can pretty much anticipate that 2022 production numbers aren't going to be over a thousand. I, I, I'm probably thinking maybe five, six hundred. You know, they, they've had some supply issues this year. So I don't think a lot of super stocks are going to come out the shelf, uh, come out the plants, especially with the jailbreak out there. Um, so I don't, a lot of people probably did buy super stocks this year. 2023, I think it'll be the same case. A lot of people probably won't be buying super stocks next year. So you can, your safe bet is that in total, there are probably going to be less than I'd say 1,200 super stocks total, and that's on the high end. I think it might be even lower than that, but I don't think it's going to be that many super stocks out there. And by knowing that information, that the production numbers will be pretty low with the super stock, seeing that the price of some, a used one is right there with the demon, for the most part, like, would that be a wise investment? I know cars are crazy, right? Cars being an investment, but there are people out there that will buy cars for an investment that will let them they'll buy them and let them sit in their garage and let them collect you know let them appreciate in value then they'll flip them years later down the road now we know the the super stock price right now um is lower than the demon the demon's up there i mean granted demon's been out for a few years but the demon does have a higher demand when it comes to the market right um even though it's more of those sitting sitting out there for sale because of the fact that dodge really pushed that car out there to people i mean the the, the demon had its own like whole like advertising campaign for it it only had its own teaser had its own reveal all of that dodge really put the demon out there they they didn't put the super stock out there in the same fashion so a lot of people aren't demanding the super stock like they're demanding the demon but it just if you look at the numbers right now the numbers seem to be there as far as that super stock could be a really good investment if you missed your chance in getting a demon so we know with the demon you're not going to get a demon for under a hundred thousand that that's a done deal that's dead but if you go look at a super stock you can get a super stock for ninety thousand for probably ninety five for, for ninety ninety five thousand sit on it and already be over a hundred thousand probably a hundred twenty thousand uh value like that like we're not even talking that long we're talking matter of like a year or so or something like that the value is going to go away in fact honestly if you buy a super stock now you might be able to flip it the same year and still make a probably a 20 30 thousand dollar profit off that car all right guys look quick change of scenery here i uh, had to make a quick amendment to the video or uh addition to the video i should say so when i record a video initially i had no clue what 2023 uh, production numbers for the uh, super stock was going to be but since the power uh, locator came out now we have an idea of what we're looking at for the 2023 grant we don't have 2022 2022 is still going on so we don't have production numbers for that but as of the information I saw we did have uh, when the power locator first came out there was hundred and fourteen allocations for super stocks and then as of today I think it was like 94 or something like that so it's safe to say that they go another wide body already. You don't see a lot of wide bodies, I, at least I don't. We didn't know what the allocation is gonna be looking like, but we have an idea what it's looking like now. Now, the thing about it, when it comes to the power locator, I'm not sure that's only dealer stock. I mean, not dealer stock, but orders. Does that count for dealer stock and things of that nature? We don't know that. But one thing that is for certain is the fact that the super stock is gonna be a very, very rare vehicle. And if you're in the market to get one, uh, or if you're in that, market of uh well i won't say market if you if that's in your price range and you're looking at something that's going to be an investment something that not everyone has the super stock might be the car you want to look at um it, it's extremely rare it's going to go up i think quicker than all the other cars when it comes to value wise in the long run like, and i showed you some prices here already so i do think that might be the car to look at if you're in that uh neighborhood of uh of uh income to to you know to invest into one so you might want to look at it if you're doing the math you're taking a you kind of taking account of you know how many super stocks they're building this year versus what we know what already has been building what's out there it is safe to say 
that this car, like I said, extremely rare. It's way less of, of the super stocks out there than Demons. Um, it's probably gonna be less than a thousand, I'm thinking, the pending 2022 production numbers, which honestly, I think it might be less uh, than a thousand total because like they haven't produced that many and it seems like this year is going to be a, a low production number for sure well i mean not this year but 2023 should be a low production number and i'm guessing 2022 is going to be low production again because they're having still having supply issues and stuff like that so I, i'm thinking it's going to be less than a thousand super socks total out there so like i said before if you're looking for something that's going to be investment something that hardly anyone out there is going to have the super stock should be one you can you should be looking at right i know that's that's definitely out of my price range a lot out of a lot of people's price range but i think it's proof that that car is going to go up in value pretty quick here now i'm going to wrap up today's video um in this rainy rainy day which wasn't rainy before but uh let me know what you think man do you think that makes sense as far as super stock being the best investment out there the price looked like it didn't go up from 2022 based on the website i think the price is the same from last year so there's no change there if i recall correctly so you're not uh, I think I, early I was saying that uh, it was probably going to go up to 90000 but I mean starting price I think it was like 88 or 86 something like that still nonetheless it, it looks like the you can get your return uh, on your money back pretty quick based on some of the cars we already found out there but let me know your thoughts on that as always thank you for tuning in we will catch you on the next video we're out cut it